Guys, I got some super bonus content here. I've got a 2001 Honda Civic today with a check in light, but it's unrelated to what I'm actually looking at it for today. So I've actually got another 2001 Honda Civic that I've recorded a video on, and I have not even uploaded that video yet. But uh, this 2001 Honda came in, and uh, it, 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 it's given me the opportunity to show you the comparison between a good ECM and a, and a faulty ECM. So this car that I'm sitting in has a good ECM, and that other car that I tested, and uh, I have not uploaded that other video, but it's a diagnostic video where I basically diagnosed it as a faulty ECM. So uh, this is gonna be a bonus content video to show you the difference between what it should should have looked like during that test and uh, what it did. So uh, let's go into the hood. Well, here we are in the hood. I've got my equipment hooked up in the same way that I did in that other video. Uh, so what I was doing so I was I testing took the, the purge, purge control solenoid, solenoid and I, a P1457, I think it was a P1457 EVAP code. And in that other video, I found that the purge solenoid was not operating. In other words, not sending any vacuum to the EVAP system over here. Uh, on the King Bowen tool, we're showing a 28% duty cycle to the purge solenoid. I've got the top on with the lab scope back probed on the ground circuit, and we are actually seeing a 30% duty cycle. How do I pause this? Uh, pause. All right, I brought everything in the car with me so we could see, again, those voltage spikes are just going to be from the ignition coils. On the King Bowen, I've got a EVAP purge control solenoid uh, duty cycle of uh, almost 30%, which we are not seeing here. We should see a 30% duty cycle ground signal. It should be pulling all the way down here. This is zero volts, so this is your ground down here. That tells us that these voltage spikes are not what we're looking for. Uh, we should see a nice square wave all the way to ground, all the way back to battery voltage. So up here at 12 volts, this would be when your solenoid is turned off. And then down here, that square wave to ground is when the ECM turned it. So there's your 30% on time and your 70% off time. So that's your 30% on time duty cycle. 30%, 30%, 30%. So uh, in this capture, this ECM is good. This is working. And this, if I put my hand on this solenoid, it's actually thumping. I can feel it thump. And if I remove the hose over here, unlike that other car, I do actually have vacuum here. Can you hear it thump? It's, it applies vacuum on this hose. There's your EVAP test port. It applies vacuum on this hose which runs through this pipe to the other side and it runs to this vapor line right here. So this vapor line goes to your fuel tank and that's your EVAP system. So from here back to the purge valve, you should have a vacuum whenever this guy, this guy's commanded to almost 30% duty cycle right now. We should have a vacuum. So when I disconnect this hose, nothing, no vacuum. So that tells me right away my problem, or at least my starting point, is to diagnose the EVAP purge solenoid. So that's your 30% duty cycle coming from that, uh, that purge solenoid. So anyways, in that other vi video, I diagnosed it as having a faulty ECM. How can I uh, just go to run? Uh, I want to change this. The other way. So uh, one might ask, how could the solenoid or how could the ECM fail? Let's pause that. And uh, what we're seeing here, how do I? Uh, there we go. We're seeing zero volts about right here where that little one is. This is your 12 volts at battery voltage, and we're seeing that 30% ground from the ECM. But when that ground, when the, when the solenoid gets turned off, you're getting a voltage spike here up to about 60 volts. So that voltage spike is what will kill a computer. It'll kill an ECM. And what most likely happened here, how do I zoom back in? 
what most likely happened on that other vehicle is that over time these big voltage spikes just eventually blew that driver out and that's what i that's honestly what i think happened or possibly that the solenoid was missing a clipping diode or whatever but even on this known good i'm seeing big voltage spikes so i'm going to call that normal so one more thing that i was questioning in that other video was whether i can actually trust the top don tool or not when i run the actuation test meaning when i have the tool uh, command the ECM say I want you to turn that purge solenoid on in that other video I could not get that purge solenoid to activate because it has a faulty ACM but if you are questioning your tools you don't understand how lucky I got here you don't understand how lucky I got here because I just made a video um, I diagnosed a 2001 Honda Civic with a faulty ECM and then a week or a week and a half later I get in my stall another 2001 Honda Civic with a good ECM most likely, right? It doesn't have the same code as the other one, but I, I, I saw a golden opportunity. I'm like, wow, this is a great opportunity to uh, make a comparison video of a good versus a bad ECM and further solidify my diagnosis and make me feel good about it. So actuation, EVAP, single solenoid, Keys on this time. Uh, purge, control solenoid. So when I click on, it's gonna command it to 100% duty cycle. And I should hear, I should hear this thing click. So let's see, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. Yeah, I could hear it click. But can you hear it? Let me do it. Listen. Listen to this thing, this guy. Little click. There it is again. And off. Okay. So that further confirms a, um, the other vehicle, the, the other 2001 Honda Civic in that other video, definitely 100% has a faulty ECM. I don't care if it costs a thousand. I don't cost. I don't care if it costs ten thousand dollars. I did all the testing. I showed it in the video. I did everything I possibly could to have proven that that. I don't care if it's a million dollar ECM. It needs an ECM. So uh, there you have it.